It's their version of the Mexican wave. Even in a veil, you can let your hair down. In an emerging twist to Egypt's political turmoil, protesting the military coup is all about the hand signs. It is a symbol, it is a signal, it is, uh, it is something like a victory, but for our, uh, for our own demonstrations. Within a couple of weeks, the Black Hand logo and four-finger salute has become a powerful brand. Posters of ousted Islamist President Mohamed Morsi now seem so yesterday's protest. Now we want to really not to uh, concentrate on Morsi only. We want our democracy and the freedom. None of the pro-Morsi demonstrators here seem to know exactly who drafted the rebrand, but it's clear it's caught on fast. Black hand t-shirts are clearly the new black and a chance for vendor Ahmed Taufik to mix business with resistance. A scarf with a 30, uh, both uh, two, five pounds, that's all. One upside of political chaos, vendors don't have to worry about copyright on anti-coup apparel. Nobody will take it as, uh, as a monopoly, it will be for everyone to just do it. The four-finger salute is a reference to Cairo's Rabah Square, where hundreds of pro Morsi supporters were gunned down by security forces last month. Raba in Arabic means fourth. This is a sign we're holding strong and of solidarity with those who died in Raba Square, she says. So now that the anti coup movement seems to have developed a powerful brand image, the real question is how many are buying the underlying message. Thousands of Morsi supporters still turn out every Friday after prayers to demonstrate, but organizers seem to have few new ideas how to roll back the two-month-old military coup, except for the slick logo. I don't care if it comes like Nike or other brand. All I want is my freedom and my free country again. Rebranding the resistance may be lifting spirits, but concrete political results remain elusive. Carl Penhall, CNN, Cairo.